Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a little delayed, but I wanted to film my get ready for my bridal shower. Unfortunately guys, I said I wanted to film my bridal shower. It, I really thought I was going to and it ended up just being too hard to film. I mean, it was just like, because everything had to be on like a schedule, like games had to be at a certain time, food was being served, it was just like so chaotic and then I forgot my camera at home and I thought, oh, I'll just vlog with my phone or something and that just didn't turn out well either. So I, my mom took my purse and I didn't know where it was the whole day. I didn't even have my phone with me at all the whole day till towards the end of the, like when the party was over. So I'm sorry, I really wanted to film it so bad. I don't know how YouTubers do it. Like I've seen other YouTubers vlog their baby showers, their bridal showers. Sometimes they vlog their weddings, and I'm just thinking to myself, like, how do they do it? I don't know. I just, I don't know. And like I said, a lot of their family members are used to them being on camera. I'm very new to camera, so my family is not really used to it yet. So it's like, not a lot of them want to be on camera, but yeah. So I remember everything that I wore that day. I'm obviously not wearing the outfit that I wore that day, but I do remember the makeup I did. So I have all of it laid out here my brush is behind me and we're just gonna get started so yeah and i just got out of the shower so my hair is a little wet so just excuse that but let's get started so um the first thing i usually do is like i said i always put my moisturizer on um i ran out of my makeup revolution moisturizer so i'm just gonna use the kopari coconut oil coconut face cream so i'll be using that today um uh, yeah, it's whatever's moisturizing is what all that counts to me. If you have any good recommendations for moisturizers that are like really good and really good high, really good at hydrating, I'll take the recommendations because <laughs> I always like trying out new products. And after that, I always take my Mario Vasco face, facial spray. I spray about my face a couple, a lot of times. I, you'll see that throughout this video. I just spray my face because I just love that extra hydration. So you'll see me do that a lot throughout this video. And you'll see me just throw the products behind me because it just makes my life easier. I'm just taking the Nivea Man Shave Balm. You guys know I use this. It's really good. Um, I like it. it. Smells really good too. I mean, everyone says, "Oh, oh God, what is going on with the lighting today?" I think the sun keeps coming in and out of this room, <laughs> so I apologize about that. But I don't know. I don't even know what the weather is like outside right now. I know it's supposed to be like warm today, but like the lighting just keeps going in and out. And I have like my own lighting, but yet yeah, that lighting helps too. I don't know. The like natural lighting and stuff. And then I'm just gonna take my primers that I use. I use the same primers. I use my Makeup Forever Step 1 for redness. And I use the Too Faced Hangover primer for just extra hydration. And to keep my makeup on, obviously, all day. Hopefully it does, but you know. So I really put it on like my chin, my nose, I do put it throughout my face, but like focus it really on my red areas. There are some things I could do without a mirror when I do my makeup, but once it gets to like the eyes and stuff, yeah, I've not got that talent yet. Anyone that can do it without like, you know, without like having a mirror and just like doing it, that's talent, that's talent. Um, you know, a lot of nice stuff for my bridal shower, I've taken out like a lot of stuff already, um, used some stuff already, um, still have so much in the living room that needs to be unboxed and like organized and stuff, but. We'll get there, we'll get there. So um I'm gonna do my last spray. This is like before all the 
eyes and the foundation start just to get the base nice and prepped nice and hydrated because uh -huh. girl I don't need that so I'm gonna moisturize my lips I'm taking the menta lip tint you guys can get these at bath and body works um I use them because they are really good to just prep the lips so here I am again need the mirror squeeze out a little bit and oh see natural lighting came back I mean this is just weird weird day already I'm trying to like, control my hair my hair gets in my face so easily now all right so I'm gonna take my elf eyelid primer that I use all the time I love this guys I People think Elf is so cheap. There goes the lady again. I'm sorry. Elf, people think Elf is so cheap. I think it's affordable. And I think a lot of their stuff is really good quality. A lot of people don't think that because, oh, that primer's like $2. It can't be that good. When actually, it is amazing. Keeps my eyeshadow on all day. Unless, like, I rub my eyes or something, it stays on all day. I find it to be really good. So... For two dollars I stack up on it and if you have like red eyelids because some people have like color like you know like redness in their eyelids and stuff it's almost like a concealer and it will like mute it out which I really like so I definitely think for you guys should definitely check it out you can't go wrong with spending just two dollars on eyelid primer and you can pick it up um, Target, uh, I've seen this at ShopRite, I've seen Walgreens, CVS, any of Rite Aid, anywhere where they sell Elf. And I normally like buy a couple of them, but I haven't done that recently and I don't know why. I want to show you guys the palette that I'm going to be using today. It's going to be the Revolution Pro Palette. Um, it's one of their new palettes came out. It's the new neutral palette. Obviously, what attracted me to this palette is, look, leopard, leopard, but um, the colors in the palette are absolutely amazing. Like, look at these, look at these gorgeous colors. Ah. Hopefully, it's not, you know, let me take the plastic off so it's, like, not reflecting, but look at that, guy. Look at those colors. They're absolutely stunning. I cannot wait. I couldn't wait to dip in this palette. So I used it on my bridal shower day. So I know exactly the look that I did. So let's get into it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is take my e.l.f. tape. I told you guys in my last get ready video that I used scotch tape because I ran out of these. Well, I went to go pick it up literally a couple days after that video. I literally was like, oh, I better go pick that up because I'm probably going to be doing more videos. I normally like rip them in half because they're so long that you don't need, you just can use one strip. That's why they usually last a really long time for me. But, um, all depends, but. So, I mean, that's what I do. I use, uh, I ripped them in half. I learned that actually from a YouTuber because she's like, you know, you don't have to use this whole strip. There's no need for it. And they're so soft on, they don't rip your skin. Um, that's one thing I do like about them is that they don't rip your skin. They're very gentle, more gentle than scotch tape. I think they're like $3 maybe. I don't know how much they are, but they're affordable. And I think you get like a pack of like 60 and this is what they look like. I know they're like white. You really can't see them, but they work really good. So I would definitely say uh, check them out. So I'm going to grab my famous, oh you just heard that, my blending brushes and we are going to get started. Okay. There's even a really good mirror in the palette that I could honestly use, but I'm just going to use my mirror here. Um... 
I'm trying to think of the first color I went in with. Oh, I went in with neutral. It's just like a nice neutral like color. And um, I just put that all over my lid. Just to kind of help with all the other colors when they transition. It's really good to have a nice just neutral kind of color go in. So that's kind of like what I did. Just take off all that excess. I'm just taking my famous collab brush. I love this brush for just blending colors. It is so amazing. And I'm also going to grab my color swatch wheel because I feel like I'm going to need it. And then, let's see. I took the M Morphe M411 brush. And I dipped in the color Whisper. And I'm just going to take all that fall out. And I put that inside my crease. Now sometimes the tape will lift up a little bit. But it's okay. It will still stay. Stays pretty good. So don't get worried about it lifting on you or ruining your look. And I mainly focused a windshield wipe motion in my eye, just going back and forth, back and forth. And then I took a, the same color again. And I did the same thing on the other eye. just got that so far and then I went back in with my collab brush just to get everything to make sure everything blended really well because this helps like even blend better I mean better blend better blend more um so just to get it in there like that then I'm going to take the Morphe M5113 brush. Looks like this. Um, and I'm going to take the color Karma. I love that. I love my name. <laughs> the eyeshadow is literally named Karma. I love that. I love that. It's like a mute pink color. And I'm going to take this and just, again, put it in the crease. You're going to see a little bit of like a, it's going to like, it's almost like a pinky orange when it mixed with the other color, but... Usually right now, I would be like, why do I make up? I always have like music blasting, and normally I would have that, but it would be like, I would get like... I guess I would get like copyright or something, so I'm like, I guess I can't do that. <laughs> but yeah, I'd have some like major music blasting. Whenever I do my makeup, I always have like music going. Um, lately, I've been lazy with putting makeup on at work because I just rather get my um sorry C's in more, like sleeping you know, C's, get that C's in more. But um, and my coworker is like. I even did your eye makeup today. Like they always love seeing my eye makeup at work because my coworker goes, "You need to do my eyes. You need to do my eyes. I need to learn how you do your eyes." And I love when I get those kind of compliments because I'm no makeup artist. I don't work for a professional makeup place. Like, which you know, I don't do any of that. So when I get compliments on my makeup, I say they go, "How'd you do?" I'm like, I kind of just self-taught myself. All that I do is I've self-taught myself with everything. I've never, you know, went to classes. I did go to cosmetology school, but again, I didn't learn how to do makeup there. They didn't focus on that. <laughs> like, you go to cosmetology school, let me tell you, they do not focus on what you think they're going to focus on. So don't get your hopes up with that. 
got to say that. That's all I'm going to say about that. Because they don't, they don't focus on what you want to focus. They just don't. I mean, it's, it's annoying, but they don't focus on what you want them to focus on. And now, so, sort of like, like going away from the cosmetology and hair and field, I still love makeup and skincare. I was still kind of do that as like a thing that I just like to do, not really maybe do a job with it. Um, I'm leaning more towards into the medical field. I feel I'm finding what I finally want to do, my passion and everything. Um, so I am very happy where I am now. I have no regrets. <laughs> um, I'm going to use the color Zoned. That's the next color. And I'm mixing it with Majestic, which is like a purple. So Zoned's like a plum, and then Majestic's like that um, purple. And I'm using my Sigma E25 brush. And this is going to focus more on the outer V, but then bringing it into the crease. It's going to really smoke in it up. You're going to see it. You guys are going to see that. Make sure you press down the tape because you don't want the tape to go up at this part. I start patting. Once I get the outer V, I just start patting. And then I just bring it in. And then I go back and all I'm going to do is grab the Majestic now. I'm not going to grab any of the zone. Because I really want to get that purple in here with this look. Sorry if the mirror is going to come up a little bit. Um, and it's going to look like that. Yep. So I'm just do the same thing again. Take zone. Mix it in with Majestic. Flatten it out. Bring it in. I mean, I really like the medical field. Um, I love my job. I love the people I work with. I have such a great group of people that I work with. I feel like we work as a team. Um, you know, I just, I always have a good time at work. I always leave the day with, like, laughing and just, obviously doing my, like, just having a good time. Like, you know, and I never used to say that about work a lot, so. And it's always nice when you, um find a job that you just love and I work really close to home right now I mean eventually gonna move not gonna exactly work close to work anymore but it is what it is that's what I always say like I said guys gonna go back in with that collab brush and just make sure everything's blended so I mean you have to do what you have you have to do when you get a job you have to do what you love to do you know what I mean you need to at least wake up kind of happy to go to work you know, I know with like when I worked previously at a public school, I had all these benefits. I had winter break off. I had um, winter break, spring break. There was like midwinter recess. There was um, all these holidays off. You had three weekends, you had 40 weekends, you know, whatever. Summer's off, whatever. I never had a summer off, never experienced that because I always had to work. But for the people that have their summers off, they're fortunate. That's great. Like, you know, but for me, I don't. People are like, don't you miss all that time off? Like when I told my coworkers that I previously worked at a public school, they were shocked because they were like, you don't miss all that time off. And I'm like, honestly, I don't. I don't care about it. Um, and they're like, you know, snow days and all that. And I was just like, I honestly came back to just, that all didn't affect me because at the same time, I didn't like my job. So it's like, <laughs> I don't miss any of it. I actually love going to work. I don't mind like after a holiday, oh, I have to go back to work and you're off or some jobs, some jobs, some companies are so nice and give people days after holidays off and some don't like that's, that's, I don't care. Like I found what I love to do. I found my job. I found what I love to do. I am so happy. This year has brought me so many good things. It has brought me new open. It has brought me new beginnings i'm marrying my best friend in like whoa it's like one month away i'm marrying my best friend and i got a good job i have a good head on my shoulder where like things are just gonna be happening and they're gonna be oh i can't even like i woo, i can't even wait like they're just good things are gonna be happening that's all i gotta say is good things are gonna be happening and i cannot wait to share them on camera 
and I hope to grow with my channel and like I said to you guys in the beginning this is not for money I don't really care I don't um, I just love being in front of the camera and just sharing my life I don't know I don't I've oh I don't I don't explain why I like that um, but I love it it has made me build so much confidence in myself already that I did not have before so I'm grateful for that now in the palette guy okay, back to this stop chit chatting there's called a base which is like a concealer almost if you can see that and what I did was I took this and put it on my lid to kind of mute out some of the shadow that got on my lid because we're gonna put like a color there so I just kind of patted it on I didn't even know I thought it was a shadow at first when I put on because I put it on with a brush and then I realized oh it's like a concealer so whenever you want to do like a cut crease or anything like that it was easy to do so I'm just gonna pat it in pat it in okay so now we're gonna turn around and get a lid brush <laughs> get the lid brush um so in the palette I ended up taking the color glistened glisten I think that is how you say it. it's like this nice little sparkly color and I mixed it with this color called jazz it up which has like purple and um silver in it mixed together and they made such a really pretty combination so I put that on my lid right where I muted it out and it just gave a little bit of like a sparkle because there are two colors in here called party and golden and they are just rose gold and like a pink glitter and you would think oh I went for that well, not really. Glitter's like very messy. I like glitter, but I tend to not like to work with it. Um, a way to keep glitter down is definitely get a good glitter glue. Like um, Too Faced has a good one. Um, if Too Faced is too expensive, NYX is a great alternative. I heard e.l.f. has a good glitter glue. I have not tried it out, but I've heard other YouTubers talking about it and saying that it is really good. So I definitely check it out there's no harm in that and then for my brow highlight i went back to the first color that i used which was neutral and i just put it on my brows like that so and then my favorite part about this is removing the tape and just seeing that perfect angle boom just like that and I just gotta get my makeup wipe which I have like these little Neutrogena samples that have like wipes that are like hard to open right now I should have had this open probably before the video because I didn't realize how hard it was gonna open in the video like see it's like this little small little wipe <laughs> And it's like I can't get it. Oh my god. And I tell you guys, I never have a hard time opening this wipe till today. Oh, there we go. On camera, of course. <laughs> I feel like everything goes wrong once you're recording. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just I believe that. Alright, so this is where I kind of just clean up any um, edges, any fallout, make sure everything looks perfect. Okay. And now I'm going to use my Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner. A fancy name for eyeliner and I'm just gonna be putting this on my waterline I feel like I I think I said this in my last video that I can't go without wearing eyeliner <laughs> I just feel like I look so dead if I don't I think I said that before though so I'm just going to continue putting the eyeliner on my eyes. 
Today is, um, what's today? Today is Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. As always, the weekend goes by so fast. As always. <laughs> but hey, we just have to go by. So I'm using the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. You guys know I layer my mascara like crazy. I'm just going to put that on. And then I put on my Too Faced Better the Sex Mascara, the waterproof one. Um, the tip that I got from the lady with this mascara is always put a mascara down first because if you don't, this will be really hard to get off, she told me. Um, it's a really chunky mascara. That's another thing I really don't like about using it sometimes because it's just really chunky. But... I like the, um, I like the volume that it gives me, but it is chunky, by the way. If you guys are not into chunky mascaras, I wouldn't go for that one. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, I think, I don't know if the waterproof, there's waterproof and there's one that's not waterproof. I'm not sure if the waterproof one is, like, chunky. I'm, I'm not too sure about that, so don't quote me on that notion. Alright, so now let's go to foundation part. This is like my favorite part because it means everything's coming together. So now I'm using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I do have some little blemish spots. I did go to a dermatologist and she gave me a really good cream. It has been um, working. Um, it's been making them less uh, irritated and stuff. I will say that but they are still here you know it's natural hormonal stress you know I don't have too much stress but they are here I already have my beauty blender all wet before the video today I'll be using I use this for my video too because I'm a little low on my um airbrush the wet n wild cushion foundation and I'm in neutral beige this foundation's really good. I do like it. Um, this is actually the only thing I'll use if I don't have my airbrush because um, it's the only thing that doesn't make my skin look cakey. And it's the only thing that will make me break out after I use it because most of the time, if I like, I could say to you guys, if I like some foundations will like will make me break out mac has made me break out kat von d has made me break out um what else has made me break out um i just do a pouty motion sorry um what else has made me break out oh bare minerals foundation has made me break out they're like i forget which one it is because i know they have like a couple out um, what else has made me break out? God, I can't even think right now. A lot of foundations just make me break out to the point where I'm like, I don't want to wear it. Like, it's just like, that's why I kind of turn to the airbrush. But sometimes I run out of the airbrush and I have to order it and it takes a while to come. So I use my alternative, which is the cushion. And it's really light on my skin, really natural. So I did wear this um, the day of my bridal shower because I kind of had no choice. I really did want to wear, obviously, my airbrush because, but pictures still came out really good. Of all the pictures that were taken, did come out good from what I know. I still like put some on like the pimples that keep sticking out. But from what I know, everything came out really good. I'm glad everyone had a good time. I had butterflies. Like I don't know, I had like nervous jetties like before. I don't even know if that's even a word, nervous jetties. But 
I think I was like really nervous. Hey guys, I don't know why my camera just automatically stopped. Sorry about that. So I think I was just finishing up blending. And then I'm just glad everyone had a really good time. I think that's what I was most worried about. I'm going to grab my collab powder just to set all of my concealer. Let me just get that. Sorry for like looking down here. But. And I'm just going to set underneath my eyes with that. I make weird faces when I do my makeup. Come to terms with that. I should really grab my mirror. And I kind of set where I put the concealer too. Might as well, right? <laughs> set anywhere you can. And I did tell you guys that the collab powder is very pricey. But it's well worth it. I have loved it. I was like, mm, gotta have that in my life. Even though it's expensive, I'm like, I gotta have it in my life. So I'm using the Morphe No Filter Powder, Filter Effect Powder. Um... I'm just going to use my Morphe brush to apply it. And this is just to set my whole face. This is what I use because I wanted photos to look really good. It's supposed to give a nice filter. It's supposed to give like an airbrush, like airbrush look, but it looks, it's much better with my airbrush foundation. But I bring it down to my neck. Always make sure you bring it to your ears. You want everything to look really blended. You don't want to like look like you have makeup on, guys. I mean, you do, but you don't want to look at it, you know. But again, back to my shower. I'm just glad everyone had a really good time. And, you know, and everything went well. I think that's what I was most nervous about, things just not going well. And now I'm going to use the Hula Benefit Bronzer. I love this bronzer. If you're looking for a nice natural bronzer, Hula is your, uh, ooh. I make the fish face, I know. And obviously I bring it down to my neck because I don't want to look super, super pale. I always look pale though. And this take me for probably being like I'm like sick or something. And then I just take my Elf Fluffy brush just to make sure everything is blended. Okay. The highlight that I ended up wearing that day was the Mary Luminizer Highlighter, one of my favorites. And I used the Morphe E8 brush for it, just to kind of like pat it in, because I like my highlighters. Like some people use a fan brush, I use my little puffy brush, it really gets it in the skin. And then again, I take this just to kind of just to kind of blend it in. Now we're gonna do eyebrows. I did wear a bold lip on that day, so oof, my first bold lip on camera. I'm using the It's Cosmetics to fill in my brows a little bit. And then what I love about the It Cosmetics is they have the dual. And then, God, what stuff do I do next? Oh. I set my face. I'm going to take the Max Fix Plus and I'm just going to
you probably think that's a lot. But in makeup, I say there's never enough um, of spraying the uh, setting sprays. I just have to fan myself like majorly. I get to my hair, but my hair is already wet to begin with, so it's okay. And then um, I'm going to do my lip last, but the... I'm going to do my lower lashes. I'm using the Lash Star Mascara. I got this at um, IMATS two years ago. No. Recently, actually. I think I got this at IMATS. I just like the thinner brush for the lower lashes because we use fat brushes. They tend to... Um, like be difficult to get because your lower lashes let's just face it they're you know low and then I'm just going to touch up on my eyeliner because some of it kind of disappeared a little bit and I like a nice dark eyeliner on the bottom of my lid. not a big white liner girl by the way if you're all curious not at all all right, so lips, I'm taking my MAC lipstick in Whirl, one of my favorite colors. It's like this beautiful, like, berry color for the, uh, fall. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm like, horrible. Like steady my arms. <laughs> I'll just clean it up if I get anything out of like the Q-tip. We'll have the lip line here. But okay. So yeah guys, so this was my makeup that I did for my bridal shower. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it is a 1019 and um i definitely need to uh i definitely uh i definitely need to um get my errands done get things started i'm like thinking in the middle of this video like oh yeah i stopped recording i just didn't think actually what i have to do today i have so much to do so i already i broke my makeup mirror before this video i accidentally slid, slipped out of my hand and completely broke so i need to go out and get a new makeup mirror thumbs up because I love that mirror and now I have to replace it but it is what it is guys that's what we have to do as makeup people and replace things all the time and get new makeup and go crazy but yeah so this is the eye look I'm just gonna close my eyes so you guys can kind of just see a little closer um and then I will list everything that I used um down below in the video so you'll see that down below and um, hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.